Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo, and over there we have co-founder Christopher Draves. What's going on, people? Welcome back to the show. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Would you have to do read your uh, notes there on uh, what the email at, uh, the website was? <laughs> no, I'm just preparing because I got a bunch of notes that I'm going to read during this show because I got a lot of stats and stuff that I think our viewers might like. All right. So uh, Hockey Locker, they'll outfit you with fan gear. Uh, you drip from jerseys to hats. Well, uh, I think they even have like uh, like sweatpants too at some points during the year they do. Yeah, I think they might have snow pants because, well, we do live in Wisconsin, so might as well cash in on selling warm clothing. Um, also, they have all the hockey gear you can think of, everything from roller hockey to ice hockey. Yeah. And if I'm not skating. mistaken, can't you buy a goal, an actual goal? Yeah. Yeah, you could buy an actual goal. And uh, figure skaters, don't worry, we got you covered. They got skates for you there, too. Yeah, they'll also sharpen them for you too. And wow. if you and if you need them sharpened and they're closed, they got a drop box. Just uh, leave your skates and your uh, contact, contact info, info. and uh, they'll contact you when they're ready. And you just go there and pay and pick them up. And they have referee gear. They just don't have anything to remove your eyeballs, so you'll be qualified to be a referee. All right. Well, enough with the shenanigans. Hey, there's never enough shenanigans on this show. That's what we're known hey, for. The next one of you that says shenanigans. All right, man. Are uh, we ready for this? Uh, yeah, we are. All righty. So the Everblades took on the Orlando Solar Bears. 40, 11th time this season. Yes, that's right. 11 times they've played the Solar Bears. Ugh. <sighs> It's been crazy. And get this, there's 16 more games against the Solar Bears remaining this season. So do the math. That's a 27 games against the same team. Dan, can you imagine if the Predators played the same team 27 times in one year? I'd quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's what the Everblades are currently looking at. Anyway, shots on goal in the first period. Florida outshot Orlando 14-7. Second period, Orlando outshot Florida 12-11. And then it was Orlando outshot Florida 9-8 in the third. So all together, Florida outshot them 33-28. Um, both teams were 0 for on the power play. Orlando was 0 for 3. Florida was 0 for 1. Uh, Florida had six penalty minutes. Orlando only had two. Um. Yeah, not a lot of penalties this game. I think all together there's four penalties combined, and three yep. of them were against uh, Florida. Correct. Um, yeah. Um, and it's kind of weird because – oh, never mind. Yeah, all right. Three of them – two of them were a delay a game, roughing and an interference call. I mean – yeah, and and three out of four, three of the four penalties happened in the second period. That third period was literally uneventful. No goals, no penalties. Yeah, that third period was basically never happened. <laughs> All righty. So scoring, scoring in the first is for Orlando. For Orlando was Tristan Langen. Tristan Langen scored his. Oh, I don't know his number for the year. There. They never say it, but it was at the 641 mark. Who got the assist? Uh, Aaron Luchuk and Clint Windsor, the goalie. Hmm. Um, uh, then it, also at the 1656 mark of the first, we had Stefan LeBlanc scoring uh, with an assist from Cody Soul, all aboard the Soul Train, and yeah. Hugo Waugh. Um, then in the second period, it was... Um, Luke Nogard, 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 eh, I'll get no guard. Right. it's Nogard, it's Nogard, um, with an assist from Alex Kyle and Marcus Vila, uh, that was at, uh, the 621 mark of the second, then at the six, at the 1324 mark, which ended up being the game winning goal scored by Michael Hunterbrinker with an assist by Mason Mitchell and Michael Neville. 
Yeah, that was Michael Hootenbrinker's league-leading 13th goal this season. Um, and then scoring at the 15-13 mark of the second was Aaron Luchuk with an assist from Tristan Langen. Uh, the goaltenders were Devin Why? Cooley. Go Cooley. for it. Devin Cooley, he stopped 26 of 28, and uh, Clint Windsor stopped uh, 30 of 33. Speaking of goalies, uh, last week, uh, Hildebrand was named uh, ECHL Goalie of the Week. He had two victories last week, so congratulations. Um, your three stars of the game are Aaron Luchuk with two points. Uh, Luke Nogard, uh, he had a goal, and I believe it is. Oh, he just had a goal. So it was Aaron Luchuk, and then your number one star is Stefan LeBlanc. Yeah, Alex Kyle's been on fire recently. Over the last four games, he has uh, two goals and two assists. All right, and the um, Everblades are currently five and one in their last six. Um, your referees were Nolan Boyer, uh, linesman with Brady Fagan, and Billy Gobelman. Uh, attendance today at Hertz Arena was 2,835. Yeah, on the season, Florida is eight and three versus Orlando. Like I said, they got 16 more games against them. Tonight was uh, our head coach's 301st. Uh, victory with the Everblades, his 601st in general in the league. Well, it, right. it was a career stat. I told you I had a bunch of stats that I wanted to throw into this video, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, so do I. So here we go. Knock All yourself right. out. All right. So we did talk about that, but let's talk about how the guys in the AHL for the Admiral system or what would be the Admirals with the Predator system this year. Um, scoring uh, yesterday, the uh, Wolves took on uh, Rockford. Uh, Anthony Richard scored with an assist from uh, Tommy Novak and uh, Jeremy Davies. He also had an assist on uh, Ryan uh, uh, Suzuki's goal. Um, Tomasino had his third goal of the year. Um, so they're doing pretty good down there in Chicago. Uh, I was going to say, we should probably cover that in an in the system video. If you want to do a deep dive into how everybody else in our system's doing, um, we will we be could doing, do it. We, we could do it sometime. We will be doing that this weekend. Just giving you guys a quick programming heads up. Yeah, because I was going to say, we could do a deep dive into how our guys are doing in the age. Uh, I just had a bunch of stats pertaining to the Everblades because they've been playing pretty good hockey. They really are. I mean, All right. I can't believe that. 16 more games against the Solar Bears. Man. And we still don't remember this team like the back of our hand yet. We've played them 11 times. <laughs> And they're constantly changing. Also, uh, welcome to the team, Brad McClure. Yeah, uh, he got signed by the Everblades yesterday, right? Correct. So he has to go into it. Uh, I think it's a five-day protocol for the AHL or the ECHL, so we'll see. Um, yeah. uh, then also, uh, just so you guys are aware, uh, this is just the rumor mill we've been seeing a lot over the last week regarding these guys. Yeah, just predators are looking to make some moves. All right, so rumor mill. This is just the rumor mill. I don't normally like feeding the rumor mill, but it's the rumor mill. And you're going to do it anyways. We're seeing it from multiple reputable sources. So, okay. where there's smoke, there's fire. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. Cool. <laughs> anyway, um, rumor has it Nashville is shopping Matias Ekholm and Mar uh, Mikel Granlund. Also, uh, Heinz is in the hot seat. We mentioned that on our last Preds video. That's all um, we mentioned in our ever in our uh, Predator videos. <laughs> which would mean in bipartisan that Poyle's on the hot seat as well. So we'll see what happens going forward. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Sub uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so, on you YouTube. Can upload, uh, yeah, so you can get notified every time we upload a video on YouTube. Yes. Thank you for the support, everybody. Thank you for watching. We'll be back at it tomorrow with coverage at a Predators game.
against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Peace.